All right. What do we got in here? Vinyl discs are the future. Uh. Vinyls do sound nice. I wish I had one myself, but it's a little... I'm good. I'm good with not owning any. Maybe in the future. You know, if I ever have my own place... That I'll actually keep for a while. Maybe I'll start a collection of vinyls. Just have this nice room dedicated to playing music. But for now, I'm good. Alright, Nicholas Sipra. Prepare to get owned! Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Easy peasy! granted. Alright. Nicholas, we're so glad that you're part of the Tai Young family again. If you want to remain part of the family, you will clean up your damn mess. Make no mistake, D. It is your responsibility. If anyone finds out what or why she is, you and you alone will be the one to, f uh, to pay for it. Find her. Interesting. I wonder who they're looking for. Also, shit, it doesn't look like he actually has a Tai Young Medical Corporate Access card here. Man! Oral Cemetery, Kazoo Symphony in C Major! Uh. Alright. He's got... He's got nothing. He's got nothing accessible for us. Ah, but that's what the awning's for, for us to just jump straight into the office and never have to worry about either the door or the vent. That's cute. I always worry about the door or the vent. Whoops, wrong way. Because I like XP boosts. Whatever I can get. Anomaly Ooh, that was quick. All right. Good thing I started fortifying. Yeah, I'll use one of my stop worms if it's gonna be like that. Come on, hack the damn thing! All right, nuke. Access granted. All right, got myself 130 XP. Now I can walk out of here. I like that the um. Praxis kits never end up costing more and more and more to get in terms of XP. It's always 5,000. I like when leveling systems are like that, so you always know how much you're gonna need. If you get 5,000, if you get 300 XP from something, you're good. Hobos, Ogs, prostitutes, city is falling apart. I think this, I think this chick is dead. I mean, she's moving, but she has. She's openly holding Neon in her hand. That can't be a good thing. Okay. So I think that confirms it. We're gonna have to take the train. So I can sell some shit. Do not worry though. I will hit you all with a jump cut. We could just shoot any og we see. Uh-uh. <laughs> Thank you, lady. I'm glad you said that. Uh-uh. You can't do that. It'd be bad. Another damn so down. I'll leave some more exploration for later. Wake up! Get more done! Wake up pills! Never no caffeine! That. I actually would love wake up pills. There are a lot of times where I wake up and it takes like four or five hours for shit. Or for me to really wake up. Some of the shops around here are very weird. You get the impression that what's in the window is not what's really for sale. <laughs> well, I mean, definitely for me. Every they never sell that stuff. I've met today acted like he was keeping some sort of really important secret. <laughs> they are. They all have fucking basements with shit to sell. Permit now. Stop. I want to see your papers. Okay. Fucking the valley run this. <laughs> I want to see your papers now. You don't even have to give him the papers. He just bitches at you for them. All right. 
So now we're in a different train station. I know I said we were gonna jump cut. But I wanna at least explore a little bit of this place. Cause we got a whole lot of things going on. Another sewer. A bunch of hobos and things looking at this place. Man. Listen, jerk. I don't know you. You don't know me. Let's keep it that way. I agree, let's keep it that way. I like how half the people don't notice. Nobody cares about the Augs, <laughs> uh, but I do, so I'll let them be. I just don't like when these people are so mean to me. It's, it's not nice. I haven't done anything to them. All right, I want to see what happens if we ride on the Aug train. I want to see if that's actually any different. Aug train, leave this area. Okay, it's slightly different. It's a train full of Augs rather than people eyeballing me and being super suspicious. Also, that was a really short train ride. So where did that bring me now? I'll have to go up top to find out. It smells like police. I think there was two train stations. Hate to see what these Augs Oh, jeez. Oh, you're kidding me. It brought me to the front of the area? What the fuck? No wonder the loading screen was so short. What is this city coming? Hey, hey! I can steal their credit as long as they can't see me steal their credit. Keep quiet. Hello? How much do you want to spend this time, huh? I want to spend quite a bit. I've come here to buy another Praxis kit. The last one that you have. Although apparently I need to free up some space. Yeah, okay, all right. We'll get rid of the combat rifle. Uh, it's really the biggest thing I wanted to sell, so I guess I'm just gonna have to do all this. We're selling the alcohol now. I like how expensive some of these are. They probably give you a really good health boost if you use them. And then I can probably sell a couple of the neuropazines. Confirm. Yeah, we're in a good position here. Everything else? I don't know if I really want to sell or not. We absolutely need to sell the stem processors. The hydraulic micro pumps. The gyroscopic re regulators. And that's really about it. Okay, practice kit. I like how I was still trying to tell you my inventory is full. It doesn't even go in my inventory. It just goes to my upgrade area, right? Usually that's how it works, but I might be wrong. Damn it. I'm good for now. I still have more. <laughs> I was hoping for him to say something completely different. I still have more. Alright, I'll figure out what I want to do with that later. What I do, what I will do real quick is I'm gonna equip the laser targeting system to my stun gun because that is something that I occasionally pull out and having the ability to stun a person with a little bit of ease will be nice. Hip firing man, hip firing. I think the biggest thing for me is uh, third person aiming. Like if I can show it off here. So now with this I don't have to turn on my reticle and have it block out half my screen. I just have to use the laser sight, which pretty much acts like a reticle. And the same thing with this, except this tries to zoom in. So yeah, this is better for the close range stuff. Which will be nice, if I ever get into too many scenarios where I need to use it. Ooh, what the fuck? I had a hidden stash down here? A welcome package from the Juggernaut Collective, showing... The location of quite a few places. Hold up, I'm taking a picture of this. What the hell? 
So in North Prague, it looks like they might have other stashes for me to check out. I gotta go up there, okay. That's really interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Also, shut up, radio. What do we got? If you're reading this, Bratan, it means you've got our little welcome package. Good. Now you know what mark to leave if you need to get in touch. Memorize those sites, but use them sparingly. We got other people using them too. In a few days, the pilot will contact you. You met her once before, Spanish girl with the large sidearm in Detroit. She's solid. Trustworthy and very capable. We're getting her false papers at an, and a job at Lebedev Global. Figured you might need someone permanent watching your back. Hey, is it the chick from the last game? The one who flew us around and then our thing got shot down, but I fucking saved her because I'm awesome? I'm glad you're doing this, Bata. I know you still don't trust us, but we know the TF is tied to our common enemy's activities. Find out how, and we'll bring them down together, just like we did with Bell Tower. Neat. How to not get yourself killed. Jensen, since there's no point trying to convince you not to do what you're planning to do, I figured I could at least stop you from getting killed too quickly. That is, after all, why you constantly come to me for help, isn't it? This device contains data I've collected. Links, which may or may not support your theory that extremely wealthy individuals have manipulated events and caused everything bad that's happened to us. Maybe sifting through it will find uh, help will let you find them. Pritchard. Oh, shit. There is a lot of information hidden away here. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of that just right now. Can I put my stash back? I can't just yank the wood back over in case anybody walks into this place. Oh, there we go. I had to look at the actual piece of wood itself. I thought that was it. That's interesting. There's also some e pistol EMP ammo and some credit chips that I missed the last time I was here. Or they just spawned here later on. It's really hard to tell. So I'm actually trying to make a decision right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to store my tranquilizer rifle real quick. Now, I'm going to take the other tranquilizer rifle from storage. The Elite Edition tranquilizer rifle. Whoa! It's smaller! In inventory size. A custom made to order version of the TRQ's T uh, 203C longsword tranquilizer rifle from Steiner Bisley. Okay, 50 cal PPS shells that deploy syringe. This version of the rifle is modified not only to perform slightly better in terms of recoil, ammo capacity, and reload speed, but also to fit in a more compact carrying case due to a new ex internal stock mount. Even more impressive is that due to changes in the, the barrel design, this weapon now has semi-automatic fire. Oh, shit. What? Holy shit! That's ridiculous! And can it be upgraded? It can! I can upgrade the ammo capacity and the rate of fire. Oh my god, the rate of fire. That's hilarious! I like it. I'm keeping it. Although, obviously, I'd like to get my, like, 20 shots back. Was that all? Come on. I can tell you have more credits. You know, this time around, I actually do. I'll be on my way. That's it. <laughs> Big spender. Alright, I just sold a ton of things. Mostly ammo that I really, I know I'm never gonna use. Or at least that I won't need to use for a very long time. I also bought a laser sight for my Elite Edition tranquilizer rifle. So I can continue continue to use this since I couldn't take it off of the other gun and that made, made me sad. Alright, I'm gonna reorganize my inventory now that it's a lot more spacious. And then I'm probably going to dump a couple of points into upgrading my weapons because I'm getting a lot of crafting parts and I haven't been using them. All right.
right, let's customize our guns a little bit. I don't really desperately need to do this. Because obviously I never really find myself in a situation where I need to find or fire 16 different tranquilizer shots. No, these are kind of upgrades you don't expect for combat things. But because I have an excess in parts, I'd like to at least do that. There we go, we have a gun maxed out. So if I ever really get into the shit, I can spam 16 trank fire shots real fucking quick. Which should be nice, actually. Okay, now we can move this down. Whoops, no. Ooh, ooh. Sure, keep, keep my inventory a little bit organized. There. If I want to be really ridiculous, I could also take some- I'm gonna just take some of this stuff. I, I, there's no point in not doing it. Maybe not the crafting parts. Although, then I can get my second stack and begin really nice again. It, it's neat like this, okay? <laughs> I like the layout of all of this. So now if I get any items, they just pop up up here, then I sell them off. There's enough storage space for at least two or three more weapons, which works out. And then I can upgrade some of these other things. The stun gun, I can only really upgrade the ammo capacity. Again, a thing where, do I really think I'll ever run into a situation where I need to fire at 14 people? Probably not. For the pistol, I'm never gonna get full auto, because I don't need full auto. At the moment, its ammo capacity is actually pretty good as well. I'll increase its fire rate. In the situation where I ever need to pull out my EMP, that's good. And we'll leave that there, because I don't want to fucking mess with my list. Biocells, painkillers, right over there. One second, I'm reloading all my guns so they can reflect what they've got in them now. All right, I'm pretty content. We got some big upgrades. I can do a lot of damage. I just noticed that there's like a transition blur. In fact, I just noticed in general that there's a icon at the bottom right that shows when you're crouching or <laughs> or standing up. I didn't notice that there before. And I just noticed because of the blur animation that happens. That's cute. All right, so we're in a good position now to actually head back down to the sewers. Oh, I'm going to health. It doesn't matter, whatever. We're going to go back to the sewers, and we're going to put Labario's plan into action, which should go pretty smooth. And the best thing about Labario's plan, or us coming back down here, is we have the ability to turn off the turrets now. Whereas before, and I didn't really... Because I couldn't shoot my pistol, although, with that said, maybe I won't be able to hack either. Oh shit. We might not be in a really good position here. Hello, Viznik. I could use some help. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm here to show these people the way. Finally. Good people don't go upstairs. Be content to explore, like us, in the mine. I like how he's not talking. Here we go. All right. Install the signal scanners. Oh Jesus, he's back. Get away from that. Get away from where? I can't hack the turret. That's frustrating. And I can't use my vision thing, which is also frustrating. Shit. Can you all see me? We are coming from someone else. Not from me. Not from technology. Not through long-drawn trials and errors of evolution. We are doing it through. You don't belong here. You need to leave. Okay. Oh shit. Fucking turrets everywhere. Marius. Oh, Marius. I want you to listen carefully to my voice. Listen to me. Half of the shit I have isn't good for this place. I want you to keep. Oh, here's the emitter. You need to stop this poking around. All right, I need to find two more emitters. These things do not look at all what I was looking for. Love my style, man. Sup? This is what happens when the outside world tries to. Oh, 
You need to stop this poking around. Oh, wait, no! This is the thing I was talking about before! I looked at this before and I was like, this is weird. It's just not showing what it used to. The storm has passed. It's over now. Close your eyes. Open. I feel free of violence. Yes, feel free of violence. Because... That's not gonna last. What do you think you're doing? What is it you have there? Alright, now I don't have to worry about getting blasted constantly. Hey guys! I, I do not understand what is happening. The sound in my head is gone. I, I had grown accustomed to the sound. The sound held everything together. Yeah, they're saying the same shit that happened when I shut everything down. What is this? What did you do? I'm gonna fix this scenario. Don't worry, folks. Let's talk into the mic. I shouldn't be here. Should I? The skeptic. He continues to cloud the room with questions, with doubts. He contributes nothing. He may say nothing. I'm gonna say a few things whether you want me to or not. We got a lot to talk about, Richard. Now that we can finally talk. <laughs> Why have you... What is it that offends you so much about our attempt to construct something better? You mean your attempt to control people? Amplifying your hypnotic techniques with some kind of social enhancer. Keeping people from talking back, from questioning you. I don't think you understand. Please. These... These people want to be here. We need each other. Ha! <laughs> Look at it saying now. Narcissistic, cruel, meager. Richard the Great is a desperate man. His, 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 his hypnotic visions are a trap, an attempt to make others see him as he craves to be seen. As he loses control, Richard may be tempted to do something drastic. Just like his followers, he must be eased out of the experience. He must be made to admit that he went too far. Well, he's definitely more of a beta than an alpha, at least in terms of what popped up, so we're gonna pity. How ugly must the world have looked to you to go to these lengths? To actually believe that this was some kind of alternative? I... we... we chose to start over, to escape what society had become, what it was turning us into. You may not understand, but they do. No, I understand. You sought out people who were vulnerable. People like you, who had reasons to run away. Who do you think they are? There are no missing persons reports. I didn't rip them from war meals and bamboo linen. For those who wander the sewers at night in search of answers and alternatives, this is as good as it gets. No more hiding, no more running away, no more feeling abandoned. They need me. They need somewhere to feel welcome. And the ones you don't welcome? Those who try to question or resist, like Viznik, like me? You have no problem rejecting them, threatening them, installing gun turrets to ensure they can never pull back the curtain. The guns exist only to protect the ideal. Even the most peaceful communities must be prepared to defend themselves. Ha! <laughs> what a hypocritical this statement. A community. It's a magic trick. You've been hypnotizing people, selling them on some fantasy of what you wish the world was like. He... he tricked us? I don't understand. None of it meant anything. Please. Don't leave. He can undermine me all he wants, but he can't change what it's like up there. The decommissioning, the segregation. They will round you up and catalog you. They will do worse. <laughs> wow, all right. A few people already left. We didn't get a chance to talk much over there. All right, so... Con uh, controvert, mitigate, ignore. I'm- I want him to see that he's wrong. I don't want to just convince the people that he was wrong and have them leave. No, he needs to understand that he fucked up. People need to be guided now more than ever. All these things you're trying to run away from, trying to pretend no one should have to face them alone. 
But this isn't guidance. This is just replacing one totali totali yeah, totali yeah. <laughs> totalitarian nightmare with another. I try to read too fast. I like the statement that Omega may or the mitigate makes. I, I kind of like the I, I like the sound of mitigate more than controvert. People need to be guided now more than ever. All these things you're trying to run away from, trying to pretend away, no one should have to face them alone. But this isn't guidance. This is just replacing one totalitarian nightmare with another. I... I went too far. See? There you go. He preyed on us. By a few thousand miles, yeah. And it's time to turn around now, Richard. Time to shut all of this off. Yay! I didn't get the best possible result for that. How could we be so foolish? Because we He's got now, only we 500 choice. points versus a thousand. Everything he said to us, the way he said it, we had no choice. Why us? Why were we drawn here and not others? I, I don't know. All my life I have been drawn. I. I, I feel humiliated. I, I I feel humiliated. I remember feeling that nothing outside of these walls was real. It was comforting. And now, now we must go back to it. The laws, the people, everything I was running from. At least it is real. I mean, you don't have to go back. You can stay here. You have a perfectly decent place here if you, if you want to stay down here and fucking have, like, watermelons and steak, full-on cooked mules and things like that, then that wouldn't be a bad idea. I remember coming to the sewers to escape the authorities. It was months ago. See? If you came down here to escape the authorities, well, just stick around. But now, you can do it with a clear mind. Or a clearer mind than before, and that's good. He made us feel safe. It was like a dream, a horrible dream. He snuck into our minds and fed us some vision of himself, of ourselves. He preyed on us. He definitely did, my friend. But it's over now. It's over now. The turrets are shut off. It's time for us to have a real conversation with Richard. And maybe just get some good things out of this ending. I believe in what we were trying to do. Oh. <laughs> he goes into crying. They were safer here with me than out there with men like you. Man, you're still fucking being deluded while you're sitting here crying? Uh. You still could have been a good person to them, man. Just don't mind control them. It's not that hard. Alright. He turned off everything. We're just gonna turn off these turrets in general. What does this breaker do? I don't know what that did. Well, thank you for all of this software. I still don't know where to trade the breach software stuff. Do I trade it in... In the Breach game mode? Like, if I go here, and you look up Breach, 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 Breach software. Open menu. Press tab to open the game menu and use the mouse to navigate to the database. Use the mouse to select Breach software and track your progress. Breach software can be sold for credits. Collecting them all will unlock content in the alternate Breach game mode. I don't know if I sell them in the Breach mode, or if I can sell them in the game. I want to sell them in the game, because that would be great. I could maybe get some extra money or something for it. Oh well. What do you have here? The Community Initiative. No project was more scrutinized in the wake of recent glo uh, global catastrophes than the Community Initiative. 
This advanced development in social augmentation technology was designed to create new kinds of shared spaces and communal experiences through area of effect social enhancement technology. Early implementation in venues such as theaters and community centers proved underwhelming, though a handful of innovative entertainers did find clever ways of amplifying the experience by handpicking their audience. A quick pre-show personality test could determine if you were more or less likely to submit to whatever shared fiction was being proposed. In today's post-incident world, the thought of this kind of initiative pushing into theaters across the continent is a thing of the distant past. The consequences are too terrifying. However, for a few months back in the summer of 2025, the community initiative was praised as the best kind of new technology. The kind that promised to bring us all closer together. Yeah, but in the most bullshit kind of fashion. I want to naturally feel like I'm a part of a community. Not be fooled into it through wishful thinking. Wishful thinking that wasn't even my own thoughts. It's a sham, man. It's a sham. I like how he has this dedicated cloud screen, though. Very nice setup you've got going on here. You've even got a nice set of lighting. Two different high quality looking likes. Nice. Let me see if he has anything else for me. Okay, that looks to be about it. Still don't know what this will do. But I guess it doesn't matter. Everything down here has been turned off. Alright, folks. I'm gonna very quickly run around and see what I can loot. Ooh, look. Crafting parts. And then I'll be out of your hair. Do I have any other side missions out here, actually? That's apparently it. Okay. Well, that means I gotta head on over to the other side of Prague again. Although I'll be making sure to run through the sewers just in case I can find other things for me to steal. I mean, uh, obtain. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Hi, Viznik. Pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. Richard can no longer persuade anyone of anything. The others are free of him now, just like you are. I'm not a model of separation. I questioned him, and then I... I'm not one of them anymore. But I'm not... not one of them. You were right to question him. The fact that you were able to at all when others couldn't says a lot about your strength of character. I... 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 I became I again. Temporary signal failure led them to perceive me as a threat. I started thinking differently. I realized how, how, how there's, there's two eyes in Viznik. That's when I figured it all out. It's a good thing you did. God knows how far this might have gone if Richard had been left unchecked. How many others might have come and been persuaded to stay. We came to him because, because we didn't fit the so, so social schematic. Hounded by laws, hated by revolutions. He offered a way out, but there is no way out. Exile from exile is exile. You're out now, Viznik. There should be nothing more drawing you to this place, to him. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. I want to be... Oh, I want to Viznik. be... I am alone. Do you know the story of the rat and the button? I do not. I assume you're the one without a choice. But remember, given limitless access to a feeling that is always the... the... devotionalized, the rat kept pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. The rat kept pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. Man, I don't know what story you're talking about, but it kind of gives me some creepy vibes. So, 
the last time we were here, there was a chick over here who was looking for her brother. And I want to see if they met back up. Oh, they're just gone. We don't get to see their... Oh, that's disappointing. We don't get to see them reunite or anything. Let me say, because the last time we climbed this ladder, bad things happened. We crashed. It was probably because we went from the underground area to the top, and they had to try and load it all again while we were climbing the ladder. Alright. Well, I'm gonna sell my battle rifle, and I guess head over to the other part of Prague. Like you, friend. Bio cells, killers, right over there. I admire your professionalism. Back home, you would already be dead. Hmm. Thank you, car. We got a little bit of money. You looking for permit? I wonder if Melina's still out here. I mean, it was a nice place to stay. I don't know where else she would go. Nope. She's gone. Huh. And now we have access to her computer. All right. Drahomir, Kaneki, reminder. I, I know you tried to sneak out last night, Melina. And I know you've been trying to send out emails. I did not inherit my mother's toy factory in order to be made a fool of. This is a friendly reminder I am monitoring you all the time. I know where you go. I know who you write to. I own you, Milena Epstein. There is nowhere you can go that I can't follow. No one you can complain to who I can't buy. Do not forget. Wow, he was such a fucking creep. Edward Broad, identification number, who cares? Expiration date, just put something. Odd class, make it D. Authorization serial number, something authentic, but not too authentic. Okay, then we have Aranka. You know what to do, make it D, blah blah blah. Seriously, Milena, stop wasting time trying to make them look authentic. I just need something I can sell. <laughs> this crazy girl thinks she's two people, and each one of them is willing to pay. God bless her. I wonder if her- oh yeah, oh no, right. I wonder if... Edward's still gonna be there. I'm here. You looking for a permit? No, I'm not looking for a permit. Cause that would be illegal. And I wouldn't want to do anything illegal now, would I? Such as breaking into places, hacking all their stuff. No, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> Aranka! Oh, look at that, she's playing a guitar. Thank you, Primus. I won't forget what you did. Not now, Primus. I have so much to memorize. Okay. I'm not Primus, though. Enjoy your stay here as you chill out in this place that's not even really being visited by many people anymore. State police business. Just move along. Well, as long as they're not beating up a guy anymore, that's good. I gotta check on Edward, man. Is he... Is he gone? He's gone. I couldn't save him. I was forced to make a decision. I chose to rank up because, well, I had limited choice. And I'm sad about that. Hey! Crafting parts hiding out under a bucket. That's random. I'm just kind of exploring to see if there's anything else I missed that I can access now with my upgraded abilities. So far I've got crafting parts. Oh hey, I can turn off the drone. Ow. Yeah, okay. The drone moving and my camera moving with it threw me off. Wait, I want to see if I can completely disable you and make you crash into the ground. No, it just sits there and freaks out for 20 seconds. Oh man. Ooh. 
destroyable wall. What are you hiding? A pocket secretary. Oh, and a dead body. Andrea's genetic, another neon victim. The chemists were right. Neon is fatal to anyone who has neuroprazine in their system. Witness exhibit A. Do whatever you have to to get this body out of sight. Bury it, burn it, stuff it in the wall. I don't care, just get rid of it. Also keep this information to yourself. We want Neon to have a good reputation with the kids. Neon is color, Neon is hope. Potentially fatal is not one of the is not the best selling point. Jeez. So anybody, any augmented person using the normal drug that they're supposed to be taking at the same time as that dude, that's fucked up. That's like being told that, uh, if you had water in your system, alcohol would kill you. That would be dumb. <laughs> that would be really fucking stupid. Hmm? Why do we have a deployable awning here? Can I jump on top of the rock? What is the point of this? I can't access the windows here. And according to my hacked vision, there's nothing of value really up here. It's just an awning. I guess not every single awning in the video game is gonna be for us. Sometimes just it's just a goddamn time. awning. So far, it's the only awning that doesn't lead to somewhere, though, so, I mean, circumstantial evidence! Wait a second. What? Why is there a ladder here? Oh! I don't know where this could possibly go! I'd be tempted to jump into there, but it looks like a good enough mess that they probably don't allow anyone to go in there. Is this here just to- no, you can't get on the rooftop through there. I could drop down to the balcony. Ah, uh, Yeah, I guess if you don't have the upgraded jump, this would be a little bit of a bitch to go around. Okay, uh, it might just be to drop down then. <sighs> Give a guy a uniform, and he goes on a power trip. I remember when Czechs had freedom. Now we have identification papers. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> I remember when they we had freedom. Gosh. <laughs> 